you, Amina. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Come this way. Okay. Amisha, hey, thank you for doing this. I'm really excited to have you uh, join us and share your platform with us and continue this message of actually being a pioneer in, in not only women's athletics, women in fighting, women in MMA and UFC and such, but now in a pioneer in mental health and in general health and in wellness overall. So thank you so much for joining us. I couldn't be more excited. I'm so excited to learn. I really want to know if there are tools that I can use to better my mind. And I, I couldn't think of a better place to be. So I'm very excited to hear the results and continue to share that with the world. Excellent. Excellent. So I'll give you just a little bit on me. I've been here about nine years. I'm a neuropsychiatrist. Um, Double board certified, I work with kids, work with adults, um, one of the associate medical directors here at the clinic. So I've got an opportunity to work with a wide range of clients. So from, like I said, kids, I have a joke, I see from four to 104, right? <laughs> and in that perspective or in, in that cohort of, of clients, I'll see athletes. And I always like seeing athletes, especially like seeing athletes who are at the top level of, of their fields, basically. Um, it's interesting just to get a sense of what makes them tick and how to optimize their health in the short term and also in the long term. So again, this is cool for me personally and it's an honor for me personally to get to uh, work with you, especially as a, as a two-time champion. That's correct. Right? Strike Force and at UFC. Yes. That's awesome. Thank you. I appreciate awesome. that. And I'm, now I'm a mom champ. So and you're a mom I, champ. I have, I have two kids, so I That's consider a, that championship, championship work too. Yeah, That's two-time <laughs> championship there also. I like it. I like it. So the way I like to start things off is talk about the why now, like why going through this, which you've already kind of spoken to, but then definitely transition that into your goals. Like, is there anything we should really focus on? Is there anything we should talk about as relates to the scans, any of the findings, any of your wellness goals? especially going into the future. I know you're, you're out of retirement, back into fighting again. Correct. Anything we should think about? Well, Dr. Mina, I think knowledge is power. Yes. So I have been on this journey for the past 36 years to learn about myself. And I feel like since I've become a mother, I have a different kind of intuition and responsibility to myself and to my children. Mm -hmm. So I know that if I'm not at my best, nobody gets me at my best. Yep. My children don't get me at my best. So part of me seeking out the best version of myself, and I know that I put my brain through a lot being a fighter. I chose a career where impact and brain trauma is part of what we do. Yep. So I've accepted that. What can I do to mitigate that? Yep. That's yep. why I'm here. Excellent, excellent. So we're, we're gonna spend a decent amount of time going over the scans. Um, I really like what this whole field of longevity and wellness, especially brain health wellness, is growing so yeah even 10 15 20 years ago is not the same thing as it is now where uh, and especially as a fighter i'm glad that you're prioritizing that because you have to think not just on the next fight or being a champ it's how am i still going to be in five years 10 years 20 years what am i going to be like for my kids what am i going to be like for my spouse what am i going to be like for my grandkids all, all of them absolutely I, I get concerned with the combination of cutting weight and hormonal changes at the same time because when your body it's a stressor to cut weight mm -hmm. like it's a, it's a significant stressor if you got to drop 10 15 pounds or whatever in some short amount of time right so my last fight yeah i dropped a weight class for the first and only time in my career mm -hmm. i will not be doing that again because it was extremely taxing for months yes it actually got so bad that the the output and the stress of the workouts and the calorie deficits were to extremes. I, f I mean, I felt good in my camp. I worked with one of the best coaches in the world that really helped me dial it in. I never felt like I was starving, but there was still a level of taxation I was aware of on my body. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it, it's, a, it's a significant stress for it. It's one thing that you might have been able to get away with that earlier in career, but as we, as we get older as we right. age it changes right how our body can respond to that level of stress right i wanted everything accurate it's no longer <laughs> about winning it's about knowing the truth okay i love it all right so this, okay. is, this is why i love the fact that you did the brain scan 
You're this... gonna see all of this stuff come through. Okay. You, all right. So I'll let you continue. But you I feel have, like you this have a is very accurate. powerful brain. You have a very powerful brain, and I tend to see this in people who are successful, who push themselves, who have that level of discipline. Like to be a champion in anything, especially at that level, you have to push yourself. You have to be okay with pain, right? right. How much pain did you have to go through to get to champion level? Right. Right. Um, so these are not your scans yet. I'm just going to show you healthy average. Okay. So you did something called a SPECT scan. It looks at blood flow in the brain. Okay. So we took, take pictures of the outside of the brain. We take pictures of the inside of the brain. The outside is what we'll, I summarize as the thinking brain or the cortex. So the thinking brain's out here. This is the limbic or emotional brain. Now this is one of the best ones for visualizing head injuries. So, um, in your sport, you've had some head injuries, right? You're gonna bump into some. Yeah. Right? This much is true. Yeah. So, I was actually pretty happy to see your scans. All right. Before I say anything, what what do you think? Well, it looks pretty similar to what you're saying as an example of the otherwise healthy brain. Mm -hmm. This is why I love doing these scans because I didn't know what I was going to see. Just based on your history, I watched a couple of fights and stuff. So I, You were I, expecting worse. I was you? honestly <laughs> expecting the worse. I'm sorry. I was, I'm sorry. Okay, I was if you watched worse. a couple of my fights, yeah. I'd probably be expecting worse yeah, too. So I, I was expecting a little bit worse. But I also read your history and I knew that you've been really focused on fitness and wellness and you've been doing a lot of things. I mean, you've injected directly. Hyperbaric you know, oxygen therapy. I swear a, by it. Yeah. How much each body do you think you've done? I mean, oh, guesstimate. Hundreds. Hundreds, right? Yeah. I mean, that's one of the things we strongly recommend when people come in here with energy. Yeah. I have one in my home. Time. See? You, I use it regularly. It, it works. It works. But this was really, really impressive. Really impressive. I think I may yeah. be um, maybe doing another scan on, on a, another UFC fighter, hopefully coming up soon. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll see if uh, he, he fared as well as you did. Okay. <laughs> and, well, now the competition's now on. The, now the competition's <laughs> on. All right. So let's take a look at the emotion brain because this is actually the more interesting one for you okay. okay so this is you what do you think there's a lot of red a lot of red and yep. yeah a lot, a lot of red, red and white a lot of red and white and i see this a lot in athletes so this is up here you have a lot of parietal lobe activity you also have a lot of posterior cingulate activity and the parietal lobes are kind of back here so early i said it quickly i said the parts that are important for the athlete parietal lobe i mean everything's important in your body but Parietal lobes, your frontal lobes, cerebellum. Parietal lobes are important because they're going to be part of um, sensory information that's coming in, and then there's a control aspect too. Okay. The cerebellum will, re will refine some of that to improve the coordination of those movements and to really clean them up. But the parietal lobes become extremely important, and one of its data inputs is pressure. Okay. So certain things you're going to feel, you're going to be resent the other person more. In that context, you almost have more data points. Right. When you're not touching them, you have less data points. Right. So you're just looking at them and your brain's trying to calculate what yes. to do next. Some people's brains are wired in a way that that works for them. So that's why they're the strikers and all that, right? right. Some people are wired that they need that extra data points. They want their ears almost ready. It's like they can hear more, feel more, yeah. and that give, helps them be more comfortable. Yeah, at that point I could close my eyes and just go off of feel. Off I of don't feel. need much yeah. other input. So the way that I fight, I definitely appreciate, uh, you know, being connected. Yep. Yep. You got a little bit of extra basal ganglia activity. Um, basal ganglia help with fine motor movements. Uh, your pleasure reward center is there. Um, but it also does create a little bit of anxiety. It sets your anticipatory anxiety. A random question. Do you think trash talking, especially if you got very contentious does do you, do you think that impacts you that's a good question i know i generally prefer to be amicable towards my opponent yeah i don't prefer to have uh, trash talking and uh, sincere animosity yeah i don't like that i don't think that i operate better for that i just want to say again i really appreciate going over these things with you and i just want to make sure i've answered your questions we have a great product happy saffron we've got some other things like gabacom that can be very helpful what i also like is call my brain it's a combo okay. of things 
makes them a little bit happy saffron. Just kind of start that process of cooling things down. Natural. It's amazing. Right. I'm all for that kind of stuff. Exactly. So the, the great thing about it is that we can be very intentional about how you use a brain like yours, right? It can help you be very successful and push yourself. And then in the states where you need to be, I need to take, take a chill pill. Right. In some ways, there are natural things that you can take that slows things down to help you be more present in those moments. Okay. Okay. I like that. That sounds great. All right.